talking golf this morning with two legends of not golf, but uh, <laughs> Randy Kane and Mike Sawyer from the B.B. Comer Alumni Association. Gentlemen, good morning to you. Good morning, Jimmy Dale. Good to have you with us. I'm glad you brought somebody to kind of spice up the show this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. I've been on here a few times, but I didn't know Mike had not been on here with me before. I thought I had him on a year or so ago, but he is just a wealth of knowledge. Oh, well, I don't know about all that now. <laughs> well, uh, following... Uh, uh, Jared or uh, uh, Jacob uh, at Marble City Pharmacy, anything is good. You know? so <laughs> we appreciate both joining us. And uh, Mike, t tell us a little bit first about how you got involved with the BB Comer Alumni Association. Well, uh, Carson Greer called me when he made him an uh, athletic director over and asked us could we help him some way get raising some revenue. So Randy and I, we, a bunch of us got together and met at the Marble City Grill. and. We just decided to try to re re resurrect the alumni association to help out with the athletic program over there and with the eventual plan to maybe try to give some scholarships too. And it's worked real well, Randy. It has. Uh, I was surprised that when Marble City Grill, when we met, we had about 40 or so people yeah. there. Yeah. And then uh, it actually started out by just going to have a Sylacauga Aggie get-together mm -hmm. reunion for mm -hmm. a football game. And the next thing you know, somebody said, well, why don't we just elect officers? And, and so it kind of went from there. And the next thing I know, uh, I, I got elected president, Mike's secretary, <laughs> Beatty's involved, and Tub is involved. So it went from there. So we decided, look, you know, most people think that we're growing up, we, was, we were, we were a lot of nutcases and having a big time. <laughs> but we thought, let's do something. Let's give something back. Mm -hmm. So then we started uh, uh, organizing some concerts and some golf tournaments. And so this coming Saturday will be our fourth annual B.B. Comer Alumni Golf Tournament. And uh, Mike, uh, honoring a, a great gentleman who played basketball at B.B. Comer, yep. graduate B.B. Comer, uh, Sammy Blocker. Yep, yep. good guy. We're missing. Yeah, certainly so. And and uh, this tournament, we still got room for some players and, and sponsors. Uh, we do. We've had a lot of calls, and uh, I was just out there Saturday. Uh, all the ones that's going to play, you know, they kind of wait till the last minute, see what the weather is going to mm -hmm. be like, what may be going on. Uh, but we've had a lot of people. Uh, uh, so they asked me a lot of questions about it. So uh, hopefully, if the weather stays clear. Uh, you know, we've had to reschedule it mm -hmm. for this coming Saturday because the week that we were going to have it in May, it rained every day. People were calling me saying, are we going to play in the mud? And I said, why don't we just reschedule it? So I knew it would be hotter in July, but hopefully we'll have some decent weather. I know we got something coming off the tip of Florida and Puerto Rico right now, but we've got our fingers crossed and hope and pray we got it'll be, decent it'll weather. Be, it'll be good. It's going to be over the uh, country club in Sylacauga. Sylacauga Country Club. Uh, the tea time is 8.30 a.m. this coming Saturday, and uh, we'll have our tables set up at around 7 a.m. A lot could like to come and hit some balls and kind of get loosened up uh, before time to play, and then uh, we'll have a shotgun start at 8.30 a.m. this coming mm -hmm. Saturday morning. All right, Mike, do you play golf? I don't. I was telling Randy a funny story earlier, but we probably don't have time for that, but... <laughs> is it family, family friendly? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I got some fun. He, he loves to play tennis. Oh, yeah, I know. And I might have hit maybe three tennis balls in my life, so it'd be like me telling a tennis story on me mm. and him playing, mm. telling a golf story. Yeah. Yeah, so we, uh, well, my intentions were to eventually play golf. But when I come out of the Navy and I played a lot of basketball, you younger guys up the wreck on the old chain. We were legends, yeah. weren't we? Well, we're legends, yeah. <laughs> And I, I fell in love with tennis, and I just, that's where you'll find yeah, me now at tennis yeah, court. So, uh, but yeah. I played a little golf with Coach Mason over at the high school. Oh, wow. And uh, I saw how challenging the game is, and I can see where it would become yeah. addictive. You yeah. know. Now, uh, the purpose, the money is from this fundraiser. Good point. Uh, one of the uh, main ingredients of making us successful is giving back. Uh, all of the concerts and golf tournaments that we've put on, we've given the money back to the schools. Uh, a uh, year ago, our first time to give scholarships away, we and uh, we gave one to a Sylacauga High School student, uh, Dawson Brown, and we gave uh, three to B.B. Comer students, Jacob Kelly, uh, Xavius Kidd, and Rebecca McMahon. That was the first group of kids that we gave back to. And then this past year, in, in May at graduation, uh, we gave one to Timothy Curison at Sylacauga High School, and Allison Allen, Vanessa Edwards, and Marty Dealey this year uh, at B.B. Comer. So we've given away, given back about $7,000 in scholarships. Mm -hmm. Now I've sat on the stage of both schools uh, mm -hmm. this year, 
And I've learned that, you know, this was our second year, and those that's been doing this for a number of years have given thousands of dollars back. Some big companies come and give a lot of money back. And the colleges come, Mm -hmm. give thousands of dollars away. But we've started off small, and how we can do this is through these events. This is a fundraiser. This is not going to be a PGA uh, Tiger Woods won't be here, <laughs> so it's going to be just no a, better than he's playing. In the <laughs> it won't do any good. But that's what it's about. Uh, we, you know, people ask me about how we're going to score, how we're going to do this. We're going to keep it real simple. It's a four-man scramble. Uh, the main objective is to have fun. And uh, Booker, by the way, that runs the dining room out there, mm-hmm. they're going to serve lunch. Uh, you'll get a little ticket when you sign up that morning, and uh, Biddy gets her forms all together. You'll get a ticket for your your lunch uh, after you play, and so. Uh, Linda and Ralph are just terrific people. If you've never eaten, I'm going to give them a plug. Uh, Booker's at at lunch out at the country club is terrific. And so uh, I just went to her birthday party Saturday night. Oh, yeah? Yep. They had a birthday party. You uh, didn't sing, did you? Oh, no. No, they had a DJ. Okay. Okay. They had a DJ. (laughs) So, but that... That's what it's all about. It's a fundraiser, and we're giving back uh, in scholarships to both schools. And and as we sit here as B.B. Comer alumni, and some of you out there may be asking, did you mention Silicon High School? Well, this weekend I was looking through the stacks of files and folders that we've put together over the last four years, uh, four of the five years we've been together. I, I, I know this, but I, I kind of took the time to look at the number of people in this community and companies and businesses that have supported us. Supported us. And there's been a number of Sylacauga Aggies support us in everything that we've done. So that is why we give back to both schools. It's, uh, the students at Sylacauga and Comer will benefit from these events. Uh, Randy Kane and Mike Sawyer from the B.B. Comer Alumni uh, Association joining us today. Big fundraiser Saturday over at the Sylacauga Country Club. and. Uh, uh, you can participate. Uh, maybe you're living in another part of uh, Alabama and, and uh, within driving distance, you'd like to play uh, golf on Saturday. How can they get in touch with you guys? Well, my phone number is 256 347 1035, or just show up Saturday morning at the Sylacauga Country Club. Uh, we'll have tables ready to go at 7 a.m., signing people up. To, uh, and you can hit a few golf balls, get loose. We'll go over the rules. And then we'll have a shotgun start and have a lot of fun. All right. Uh, Mike, it's got to make you feel good to be able to give back to the community. It's been so good to you. Oh, yeah. You know, that's, that's my, my high school. So it feels like I've supported them by going to athletic events for years, but mm-hmm. I never really got involved until I mm-hmm. helped over a little bit with the volleyball and track and with the coaches. So I sort of got to know the kids and saw there's a bunch, there's some good kids here. So. Now, you've got a grandson that's playing in the Babe Ruth baseball tournament. Talk about that a minute. Well, they're playing, in, he's a 15-year-old Babe Ruth. They were undefeated Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the uh, complex here in Sylacauga. They played the, they play again today at 6.30. We'll play Tallahassee again. we got to beat them again. The winner of this game will be the state champions and go to Andalusia and play the winner from the other southeastern states in the district tournament down there. So. Yeah, and uh, Randy, I was over at that complex uh, here at Walton Cruz Field on uh, Friday and Saturday. Man, they have done a great job with that field and that uh, area right there. And it makes you feel good to be from Sylacauga, Alabama. Absolutely. And I've watched it when they started tearing it down. And then I saw what they were doing at the Pinecrest field. Mm -hmm. I was uh, fortunate enough to run into Dr. Freeman a few years ago back when Randy Caroline was still in. And we kind of walked him through and just, I don't, I didn't know if he had actually even seen inside the concession stand. I remember playing over there when I was about seven or eight years old. That was over 50 years ago, and so I was just very grateful that uh, the city has done this and made an outstanding complex for people to come here and uh, participate in tournaments like this and and draw crowds. It helps the restaurants, probably helps uh, Mm -hmm. the hotels, the small businesses. I think it's been great, terrific. Now, this this golf tournament Saturday, we just want people to have fun. You know? That's the point. Yeah, uh, all of these things that we do, I, even though we it is a fundraiser, we want you to walk away and had a great time. You fellowship with so many people you hadn't seen in a long time. Uh, we just sit and mingle and tell old stories and old tales. Some we don't tell. Uh, we'll take to our grave probably. <laughs> but but we uh, th- that's the main objective. You're going to help Sylacauga High School, and you're going to help B.B. Comer students. That's that's the main objective. That's the number one, and it's a fundraiser. And plus, we have a great time just uh, hanging out. So what's the cost and everything? Oh, it's, it's $100 per player. 
Uh, we have to we have to pay the club for the carts, mm -hmm. and of course that's covered in your lunch. Your lunch is in that mm -hmm. price, so it's a hundred dollars per person. We hope that you have a, a four man team, so it's a four man scramble, and uh, trying to keep it as simple as possible. And uh, we're going to give a first and second place. We're going to give a longest drive and a closest to the pin, and try to keep our costs down. And uh, uh, we did not go out and hit up businesses this year. You know how you go out and you try to get somebody mm -hmm. to sponsor a hole and that sort of stuff. I looked at the signs that we got a couple years ago, and we had a tremendous success for that one. But the, our, our, our local people, they get hit all the time for yeah. a variety of things. You know, they want to mm -hmm. sell signs. They want to sell an ad. They want to do this. We didn't do that this time. We, did, we just didn't want to go out it's coming up football season football and, season know. yep and all that stuff's coming up so we just we just wanted to make it easy and simple and uh, those that are out there that would love to be a part of this and help uh, uh, students at both schools uh, you just have to hey I'd love to help mm -hmm. you know something in your heart may say hey let's go help that that group out who's some there. who's some of the local guys that uh, our viewers would know this morning that's that signed up for the tournament on Saturday well we heard that uh, uh, uh I know Jimmy Toots Holmes will be there. Uh, yeah, he was out there. We got Keith Mayfield, a lot of the uh, you know the ones that graduated after we did. Keith Mayfield, a group of those will be out there. Uh, Lester uh, Bryant. Yep, Lester Bryant. Uh, you know, we the first thing that we did as a group is we honored the 1968 basketball team that won yeah. the state championship. You know. And I'm so glad we did that. Uh, not every one of the players could come back, but Sammy Blocker was there. Mm -hmm. Sammy got to be a part of that. Goose Reynolds got to be a part yeah. of that. I Two mean, guys that are going on now. Yeah, we've yeah. lost both of those. And we're tr uh, trying to tr just remember the ones that made such an impact. You know, Lester Bryant still, I think he holds the most scoring record of a high school student, oh, yeah. B.B. Comer. That was one yeah. wasn't a three point shot. Exactly, <laughs> over fifty points in one mm -hmm. ball game, and uh, what most valuable player? Most valuable player in the state tournament yeah. when so, they won the state championship. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't forget where you come from. They just made such an impact on all of us. We don't want to forget them. And you know, we retired Coach Harold Brooks's jersey at the school. We've got it up down there now. Uh, you know, we gave the first year eight thousand dollars to Coach Battles and helped. All of us went down, and I'm no carpenter, but we helped build lockers. So. Uh, if you're if you donate to the BB Comer alumni and participate in these events, your money is being used properly, and we can we can show you that. And when we accepted the the officers of, of the alumni, we all agreed we don't we're not going to take any money, we're not going to take any pay. It's all, be, volunteer. all volunteer, all volunteer, yeah. no. and we're five hundred one C. We mm -hmm. have an attorney that drew everything up for us, and and we're you know we're on the up and up. And once again, these uh, scholarships for BB Comer and Sylacauga. So exactly, both schools, yeah. both schools, because uh, you know it's the young people coming up. We I, we could probably get off onto another subject with the way we're our world is today. But we have got some really great kids in our community. Yeah. You know, we really do both schools, Absolutely. all of our schools, yeah. and we've got some great kids, and uh, we just want to be a part of. Of giving back. And finally, I, I know a lot more of Randy's school stories than I do of Mike's. But Mike, share a share a, a good news story that you remember from your high school days at BB Calmer. Well, I tell you the truth, I didn't have much of a social life because I worked in the Eve James spinning room the oh, last wow. last two years of school. So when I got out of school, I went across the tracks and and uh, great work ethic. Worked huh? in cotton mill, so yeah. kept me from playing sports, but which I regret. I've always regretted that, but. We had some good times there. You know, we had had quite a few uh, more kids there than we do now. It's a bigger bigger graduation class than what we normally see now. But now he's holding back because he's told me a couple. Tell him about some of these ball games that y'all had down by the tracks down at oh, Avondale, with used, Harold Brooks and all. Well, that. Harold Brooks and all Wayne Huff and Benny Mitchell and Randy Tanks. Wow. And we often used to play down on Seminole and. We got to call it the Seminole Bowl, <laughs> and, and and of course Harold Brooks. Old ESPN. Yeah, and Harold Brooks named it the, named us the Seminole Indians. <laughs> so before he spoke at our our banquet the other night for the uh, Babe Ruth tournament, he was a speaker and did a great job. Yeah. Great job. He was texting me back and forth. We were reminiscing about our old days yeah. playing there, and it, it, we had some good. Good time. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you both for being here this morning. Mike Sawyer and Randy Kane for the B.B. Comer Alumni Group. And a big golf tournament coming up Saturday. And Randy, if you would, recap right quickly how people can get involved and, and how they can participate. This coming Saturday, it's Silicon Country Club. Tea time is 8.30. It's a four-man scramble, $100 per person. You can reach out to me. My phone number is 256-347-1035. Or just show up Saturday morning. We'll have a table for registration. Sign you up. Lunch ticket at Booker's. 
tee off at 8.30 right. a.m. Mike, and uh, good luck to the 15-year-old All-Star Bay Root team tonight Thank as they uh, look for uh, to represent Silicaga yep. further in the tournament. Thank you guys for coming Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you so much Appreciate for helping us. Four-day yeah. break right after this.